He came to talk about SNC-Lavalin, but not to say he was sorry. In regards to standing up for jobs and defending the integrity of our, our rule of law, um, I continue to say that there was no inappropriate pressure. It was more an act of explanation than contrition, perhaps best described as an expression of regret. I can tell you without a doubt that I have taken and will continue to take many lessons from these recent days and weeks. No inappropriate pressure, he says, just strong disagreement and intense misunderstanding. I said to her, uh, that I was preoccupied by uh, the number of jobs involved in, in this. Trudeau gave his side of a critical September 17th conversation with Jody Wilson-Raybould, where she says the Prime Minister crossed the line by raising political concerns and SNC-Lavalin. At that point, the Prime Minister jumped in, stressing that there is an election in Quebec and that, quote, I am an MP in Quebec, the member for Papineau, end quote. Trudeau conceded for the first time that this was true, but says he was worried about SNC jobs, not his own. He pointed to that conversation as the start of a politically devastating misunderstanding. She indicated to me that she, uh, she had made a decision. I asked her if she could revisit that decision, if she was uh, open to uh, considering, to looking at it once again, uh, and she said that she would. After that, Trudeau insists Wilson Raybould never told him she wasn't changing her mind, so his staff kept asking her about it. She did not come to me, and I wish she had. A communication breakdown he blames on a loss of trust. That is certainly something that uh, I'm having to reflect on as a leader and that I'm looking forward to improving on as we go forward. It's now beyond dispute that he and his office bullied and threatened Ms. Wilson Raybould in an attempt to get her to let SNC-Lavalin off the hook. Nothing the Prime Minister said convinced the opposition. We didn't see an apology. We didn't see really an admission of fault. We saw kind of a sidestep. But Trudeau is trying to convince Canadians they can still trust his government. He's going to hire outside experts to review many things, including the role of the Attorney General and the way his office interacts with Cabinet. Being able to demonstrate that we continue to defend our institutions despite um, internal challenges is something that I think Canadians can, uh, can deeply be reassured by. That's the hope in an election year, that despite a month of controversy and two cabinet resignations, Canadians will believe that everything is fine. David Cochran, CBC News, Ottawa. So those SNC level headlines have dropped like hammers on the government. The polls, not encouraging right now, but of course numbers only tell you so much. So we spoke to a range of Canadians in three parts of this country to get a sense of what voters think. What is this really about? We really don't have the full truth yet, and I think a lot of facts are being thrown around. We have a strong line that's supposed to be drawn between um, the independence of the judiciary and all this and the executive government. I think that seeing that this line is kind of blurred is really unfortunate. I think our governmental system is perfectly fine the way it is. I don't think there's need for huge reforms. Uh, so it's not a democracy issue, an ethical issue for sure. It's not just a matter of feminism or um, Trudeau not matching his uh, marketing face, right? Uh, it's the bigger picture. This is the first federal election that I'll be voting in, but I've lost a little bit of trust in the Liberals because of this. How do you think the Prime Minister has handled this? I was disappointed when I heard it, for sure. Um, I didn't vote for him myself, <laughs> so um, I voted Conservative. Would have, would have loved to have seen Harper uh, stay in office, right? So um, hopefully it's the last straw, and when re-election comes, uh, he's out the door. At this point, I think that's the best he could do, because he's trying to save face and trying to get on with the show and save all the uh, seats. Frankly, it's time for a change. What's your appetite for politics these days? He's, he's doing a fair job. I mean, he, has, he hasn't done badly. Do you think it will affect your vote? I have always been a liberal. I have always voted liberal. And I do not think I'm going to deviate from that norm. 
However, I will give due consideration to, in my writing, who the candidate is. I don't think Trudeau will be in as much trouble as most people think. And I could be all wrong, but that's my... Who do you believe? Trudeau. This is not going to go away. This is not going to be something that they look at and go, okay, we're done with this. There's too many unanswered questions. Mm -hmm. Do you think it'll affect the way you vote? Oh, I'm worried about that. I mean, it's, it's like the devil you know and the devil you don't. Well, we know him. Who else is going to come up and are they going to be a worse cover-up? So, yeah, it might. I think generally it's going to affect the vote, but it won't affect my vote.